Somebody, one more time, give God praise for Miss Janice Gaines. Thank you, Pastor. There is, there's so much that I could talk to you about. There, there is so much that I could talk to you about. But you have this new song that's out. Uh, it's called One Word. It's, One Word, yes. And, and tell us a little bit about this. Tell us about this. Well, the wonderful thing is um, it's a song that the Lord gave to myself and my mom. Mm -hmm. um, we prayed and we came, we got on the phone and then she said, okay, let's pray and we'll come back on the phone in the hour. And we came back on the phone in an hour and we had the same melody and it was totally the Lord. Um, and you can find it on my website, JaniceGaines.com. Janice Ga Gaines. It's about hearing from the Lord and needing to hear a word from the Lord when you're mm -hmm. going through something. Amen. JaniceGaines.com. Got your own website. Thank the Lord for Jesus. She's fancy. She has her own website. Please don't do me like that, Pastor. Don't do me but, like but that. But honestly, you know, you've sung uh, with Women of Faith for the last few years. Yes. Singing with 12,000 women at one time going across the country. You've sung in the background for so long. This is, this is like a pushing forward for you. It is. Um... Literally three years ago, I was teaching math to seventh graders in the Bronx. And if any of my students are watching, I love you and I'm praying for you. Um, but I heard the Lord call me and say, there's something else that I want you to do. Not that there aren't many wonderful things that you can be doing, but there's something specifically I want you to do. And it was the one thing I had actually never been willing to do is sing for a living for him. And so he's moving me out into the forefront and downloading all of these songs and all of these, all of his word into my heart. I just have this hunger for his word these days, as you know, because yeah, yeah. you've been sharing a lot with me. And, and, and we've been talking and really seeing a whole lot showing forth in you. I mean, God is really utilizing you. I often talk about how, you know, the, the stage turns, the stage turns. And those of us that are on the stage at the moment, we have a season. And we're not going to always be front and center. But as God in his divine purpose and way does, he turns the stage. And when your season is over, there are others that have been coming up that God has been grooming. And they're supposed to take your place. Uh, for, for a long period of time, you know, we've, we've seen the same artists doing the same things, you know. And, and I love my brothers and sisters because God called us for a reason. But there has to be expectation for something else. And you are, you are one of the ones who God's called up and raised up through the ranks, given you so many different life experiences, some too great for you to even talk about. But he's ordained you for this time and this day. That's why I don't mind giving the stage over to those that they call new artists, because new artists are never really new. There's just nobody new about you. But you were never new because you've gone through so much in the, in the coming up. Amen. So tell us about the journey of Janice Gaines. Oh, this journey um, has been one on my part of surrender and obedience. And then on the Lord's part, I've been learning that his promises really are true. If there's anybody out there that's questioning that, when he says that he'll give you beauty for ashes and he'll give you dancing instead of your mourning, mm -hmm. God is so faithful in order. To, he is so faithful and he will do that. Just what he says he would do. Every promise in his word is true. Yeah. And so I've learned through the years that I have to surrender to the Lord and be obedient to what he's asked me to do. And in turn, he gives me all of these wonderful blessings like healing, like peace. Everything you need is in the presence of the Lord. Everything. Let's be true. Now. Tell, tell me about the new release that you're working on. Tell us about this new CD. She's working on a solo CD, and we're going to hear Janice Gaines on television shows. She'll be back on TBN. She'll be one of the greatest singers that you've ever heard. Tell us about your d debut album coming up. Well, it's, it's coming. As I said, the Lord is downloading lots of songs into my heart, um, and a lot of it actually has started to look a lot about our heaven or the new earth, as you call it, Pastor. Um, this, the Lord said, Jesus said that in this world, in this life, you will have trouble, but take heart for I've overcome the world. And so then what do we do when this trouble comes is we take heart and we take on the Lord's perspective. Yeah. And um, there's this one song he gave me and it just goes, one day it'll all be clear as we sit at the master's feet, crying perfect and holy, are you Lord? 
and when you're going through troubles one day it'll all be clear as we sit at our father's feet saying now we can finally see what it's all for and we're not gonna be crying and oh it's beautiful oh so beautiful when all is said and done and that's his perspective is that yeah. one day when we look back on this life and you know how kids get um this is going to get real scientific because i was a science nerd but uh, when kids get the M mmr shots you know for measles mumps and rubella and they get those immunization shots and they're young and they don't really remember it but somehow when you get older and you did not get measles mumps and rubella you are very very grateful <laughs> it's going to be like that we're going to be in heaven and we're going to look at all this pain down here like oh we went through that Oh, it's totally fine, Lord. Right, right. Your purpose is totally fine with me. And we're going to think that it's beautiful. We're going to look at him and we're going to say, God, you are so brilliant for all that you've planned for us. And so that's what the song is about. Well, uh, okay, now y'all are messing me up. <laughs> you all are, um, are messing me up here. Okay. Uh, really, because I'm, 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 I'm not going to cry through this stuff. I'm not going to cry. But I, I thank God for allowing me to meet you. Your husband is a good friend of mine. He's a great attorney, Eric Justin Gaines. Praise God. He's going to get you He today. really is. He's going to get me. He's sitting out in the audience right there. And he's got a great gospel uh, website called gospelpundit.com. He does. Amen. But what is Christmas to you? You tell me the depth of what Christmas is to you. Well, first of all, you kind of wrecked me on the Christmas thing about 30 minutes ago because I've always put up a Christmas tree, and you kind of rebuked that. And so now I've got to go to Jeremiah 10 and look that up um, about how we might not be able to have those anymore. But um, ultimately, to me, Christmas is the ultimate sacrifice. I know that we think um, during resurrection, we think, oh, that's when the Lord sacrificed. But actually... The sacrifice was even when he intended to create us. It was never plan B to send Jesus to save us. And so the Lord decided that he wanted us and he, he knew us before we were even here. And he decided at that moment, I'm going to sacrifice my son and send him to these people to save them. And so it's just sacrificial love to me. And it's the best thing in the world to be loved no matter what, no matter what you've done, no matter where you come from, no matter what you look like, no matter your past or anything. And that's the way that the Lord loves us. And he proved it in the most awesome way possible. So. I want every one of you, I want every one of you to remember that this is what God is doing in this day. He's raising up men and women who are standing on the foreground representing him, who have given their lives over to them, to him. And, and, and you've got to understand, there are going to be many more to come. I thank God for TBM because it gives us a platform to bring people like Janice Gaines and to present them to you and let you see ministry, ministry true, ministry pure, songs that come out of life experience and a relationship with Jesus Christ. You heard us speak. You're going to hear more of her from, as we go on, and surely tonight we're going to have her sing again. But I want you to put your hands together and thank God for the ministry of Janice Gaines.